Solving Oblique Triangles Part 2 In this video, you will continue learning how to solve oblique triangles if we use the Law of Cosines. Law of Cosines In any triangle ABC with AB and C as its sides and AB and C as its angles, wherein small letter ABC are the sides and capital letter A, B, and C are its angles. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. Next, B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. And lastly, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. With this law of cosines, we can solve our oblique triangle. Now let's have our example. Example B. Directions. Solve for each triangle by finding what is S. With the use of law of cosine, we can determine the value or the measures of our angles and the sides. Number 1. Solve for the measure of angle A. Convert the angles in decimal degrees to degree minutes seconds form. Given. Side A is 18, side B is 14, and side C is 8.26. With that, we can sketch and this is our sketch for this given. As you can see, we have been given the measures of the three sides. Since we are given a case 5 oblique triangle, wherein we have been given the measures of the three sides, with that we can use the law of cosine. So we will utilize a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Let's derive our formula first. So with that, we have transposed b squared plus c squared on the other side of the equation. And we have divide both sides with negative 2bc. So we have cosine a on the right side of our equation. But we need to look for a or the angle a. That means we need to transpose cosine or transfer cosine on the other side of the equation that makes our equation angle a is equal to arc cosine of a squared minus the sum of b squared and c squared all over negative 2bc as we continue with our discussion of a given number one a would be equal to arc cosine of 18 squared minus the sum of 14 squared and 8.26 squared all over negative 2 times 14 times 8.26. Using our calculator, A is equal to 104.977619137399 degrees. Before getting the rounded off value of the angle, convert it into degrees, minutes, seconds of the angle measure. Using the calculator, just press this button. And with that, angle A is equal to 104.978 degrees as we express this one into three decimal places. But the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle A is equal to 104 degrees, 58 minutes, and 39.43 seconds if we convert it into degrees, minutes, seconds of the angle measure. Number 2. Solve the given triangle. Convert the angles in, convert the angles in decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, four. Given is side C is equal to 81, side B is equal to 49, angle A is equal to 33 degrees. This would be our figure and based on this figure, we are given two sides and they included angle. 
This means, in solving our side A, it would be easier if we use the law of cosine since we are given a case for oblique triangle wherein we have the measures of two sides and its included angle. We use a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. a would be equal to the square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a as we derived our formula since we're looking for side a only. Substitute the value of side b, side c, and angle a. As we use our calculator, we arrive with the answer of side A is equal to side A is equal to 48.007 units as we round off our answers to the nearest three decimal places. As we continue solving, as we continue solving with our angles, to solve angle B, use the law of sign that can be heard in the previous lesson or in the previous video. Since we have been given the measures of angle A and B and we have solved the measure of side A, we can utilize the law of sine. Sine A, is e sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Sine 33 degrees over 48.007 is equal to sine B over 49. As we cross multiply the given, we arrive with sine B times 48.007 is equal to sine 33 degrees times 49. Divide both sides with 48.007, we arrive with sine B is equal to sine 33 degrees times 49 all over 48.007. But we need the value of angle B, so we transfer a sign on the other side of the equation with that our equation would be angle B is equal to arc sine of sine 33 degrees times 49 all over 48.007. Type or press the button in your calculator with that our angle B is equal to 33.773044845188 degrees. Before getting the rounded off value of the angle, convert it into degrees, minutes, seconds of the angle measure by pressing this button in your calculator. Now, with that, measure of angle B would be 33.773 degrees for the rounded off value of the angle, and for the degree, minute, second value of the angle, it's 33 degrees, 46 minutes, 22.96 seconds. As we continue with our solution for number 2, since we have already the value of side A, angle B, we need to look for the value of or the measure of angle C. So to solve angle C, since angle B is 33.773 degrees and angle A is equal to 33 degrees, we can use the sum of all angles of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So with that, we use the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute the value of angle A and B. Combine the value of angle A and B since we're only given the value of A and B. With that, it's 66.773 degrees. And then as we transpose this value on the other side of the equation, we arrive with the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 66.773 degrees. Before getting the rounded off value of the angle, convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds of the angle measure using the calculator. Just press this button. So with that, 
the measure of angle C is equals to 113.227 degrees or 113 degrees, 13 minutes, 37.20 seconds. Therefore, the measure of angle A is 33 degrees. The measure of angle B is 33 degrees, 46 minutes, 22.96 seconds. The measure of angle C is equal to 113 degrees, 13 minutes, 37.20 seconds. Side A is equal to 48.007 units. Side B is equal to 49 units. And side C is equal to 81 units. Aside from solving the measures of these three sides and three angles of, an ob of any oblique triangle, we can also determine the area of a triangle whose sides are of length A, B, and C, and S stands for the semi-perimeter using the Heron's formula, wherein area is equal to the square root of S A times quantity S minus A times quantity s minus b times quantity s minus c wherein your s is the half or one half of your perimeter and in order to get the or the semi perimeter s is equal to one half of a plus b plus c now Let's proceed to our example C as we solve for the area of the following triangles. Solve for the area of this triangle. A is equals to 12, B is equals to 5, C is equals to 13. Using solve, let's solve first for the semi-perimeter. Formula for the semi-perimeter. Substitute the values of your A, B, and C. Get the sum of A, B, and C and that would be 30. 1 half of 30 is 15. So the semi-perimeter is 15. Next, solve for the area. A is equal to the square root of S times quantity S minus A times quantity S minus B times quantity S minus C. Substitute the value of S and their sides. So that would be A is equal to the square root of 15 times quantity 15 minus 12 times quantity 15 minus 5 times quantity 15 minus 13. A is equal to the square root of 15 times 3 times 10 times 2. A is equal to the square root of 900. And the square root of 900 is 30. Therefore, the area of this triangle is 30 square units. Side A is 18, side B is 14, and side C is 8.26. Solve for the semi-perimeter first. S stands for the semi-perimeter, remember? So S is equal to 1 half of A plus B plus C. Substitute the values of A, B, and C. That would And then get their sum. That would be 40.26. And then S would stand for 20.13 because one half of 40.26 is 20.13. So next, let's solve for the area. Using the Heron's formula, A would be equal to the square root of S times quantity S minus A times quantity S minus B times quantity S minus C. Substitute. We arrive with A is equal to the square root of 20.13 times quantity 20.13 minus 18 times quantity 20.13 minus 14 times quantity 20.13 minus 8.26. As we simplify, we arrive with A is equal to 20, the square root of 20.13 times 2.13 times 6.13 times 11.87. With that, A is equal to the square root of 3119.8561-6239. With that, A is equal to the square root of 3119.8561-6239. And as we simplify or as we get the square root of this number, 
A would be equal to 55.856 squared units as we round off our answer to the nearest three decimal places.